lot of people say, you know, you want that thing to squat. You know, when you leave the line, you want to see the truck squat. Honestly, that is absolutely far from the truth as possible. That is, that is dead wrong. We don't want our tire to go this way when we launch and the ass end sinks down and squats and it looks cool and everything, but it's not working in our favor. We want to take this tire and we want to crush it into the track. We want to smack the track when this thing launches. What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a fantastic day out there. Today's video is part two to the core 4x4 bars. And that's what we're going to be talking about today is these adjustable bars. What I plan to do when I install my bars and what my game plan is. A lot of people just buy these bars and they put them on and it is a tremendous upgrade. Do not get me wrong. Getting rid of the factory bars with the rubber bushings in there and everything does a big upgrade going to these bars by themselves. Obviously, when you upgrade this joint and firm it up, you're gonna get rid of a lot of the movement that causes things like wheel hop. Just putting the bars on does do a tremendous thing. Not only that, again, with the adjustable bars, you can do things like set your pinion angle up or down if you need to. You can also center the axle and the fender well backwards or forwards uh, if your truck is lifted or lowered and it has pushed the, the axle back and or forward, these bars will correct that as you can move the axle uh, backwards and forwards. So that is awesome that these bars can take care of that. So my game plan is I'm trying to go a little farther. I want to get the suspension set up on Frostbite to work on the trans brake very well. I want to be able to leave the line as hard as possible with as much RPM as possible and it hook up. I want to get Frostbite to just absolutely smack the track. And to do that, we're gonna have to go a little farther. Down here on this table, I have a little uh, setup, basically simulating the rear end suspension setup on Frostbite or the Ram truck in general. And we're gonna talk about things like, you know, suspension squat, anti-squat, the center of gravity, more or less, very easily, in a nutshell here, we're going to talk about how to make the suspension work better in your hand. Um, a lot of people say, you know, you want that thing to squat. You know, when you leave the line, you want to see the truck squat. Honestly, that is absolutely far from the truth as possible. That is, that is dead wrong. You don't want your truck to squat. Um, granted, if it squats and hooks up and it's working, then hey, it's working. But in theory, that is really not what you want. You know, the more your truck sinks, the more it squats, the longer it takes to get moving forward. Um, so in general, it's slowing down. You have a lot of movement happening as your truck is sinking, but you're not going forward per se. So you really want your truck to just go forward. And we're gonna talk about that. What we're really looking for, the word is anti-squat, and that's what I'm gonna try to get working on Frostbite. And we're gonna go down here to the table right here that I have set up to kind of talk about that and my game plans of getting that to work. And uh, it's gonna take these core four by four arms for sure along with I believe some brackets all right so I'm gonna shift the camera and get down here on this little suspension setup I got all right guys so as you can see this is my little table set up with my little suspension dilly I got going on so this oil pan right here that I have the core 4x4 sticker on and for those that don't know these are the core 4x4 bars right here um, this is simulating a rear tire okay so this is your rear tire and your rear axle area. This is your rear axle setup and rear tire. This is going to be your upper control bar, upper control arm right here. This is going to be your lower control arm right here. All right. So again, this is the rear of the vehicle. Going this way would be the front of the vehicle. 
this string you see right here going from the rear tire coming up this is what we would technically call your center of gravity okay this is an imaginary line and every vehicle is different um, there's proper ways to actually weigh your vehicle to determine exactly where this imaginary line would be in most cases it's usually about camshaft height so if you imagine where your camshaft would be on your vehicle the line would most of the time run from the camshaft to this area so if you use a draw line from the camshaft to the rear end back here you would come up with this center of gravity line okay and in a nutshell typically speaking this is laid out kind of how frostbite is right now with the factory control arms on the truck okay my truck is lowered it's got a Beltec 2-4 drop and the rear coil springs has two coils cut off the rear so we're running really about a 2-5 drop so the rear is dropped five inches and on frostbite my lower control arm looks about like this it's about this angle and the upper bar is pretty close to about what we got here so and most of the time this is kind of about what a stock suspension looks like usually okay usually and i have video actually showing my truck do this this is what happens when you have a setup like this okay you lower a vehicle what happens is this bar actually starts to pick up okay and the more you lower it the more it raises up like this okay if you had a factory a factory truck or say a lifted truck this bar actually will tend to get a little straighter okay it would go the opposite direction so say you had a factory truck you're probably sitting somewhere around here um, maybe if you lifted the truck you're probably going to be getting closer to level but when you lower the truck you're going to start looking like this okay and that's that's really not good and what happens okay when you get a setup like this you get what they call rear end squat all right and that's it's not a good thing what's happening and a lot of people think oh man that rear end squatting that's what you want you know it's working good well no that's not good and it only works out in your favor if per se the track is prepped really good and it's sticky and there's actually enough glue or the tracks good enough to actually get your tire to hook up and push the car forward so what's happening when you have a setup like this is if this is your tire what's going down is you have the tire I'm gonna get a marker here and let's say this top of the table is the body okay let's say this is the fender right here this is the fender okay this is our fender well this is our tire what's happening when you have a setup like this where your bar is kind of sitting at a steep angle like this you're gonna get a lot of squat and you're gonna get a lot of pressure applied to the wrong areas okay so your tire all right here's the top of the tire this is the track all right this is this little spot right here is the contact point of the tire this is all you have to put the power to the ground and push the car forward okay is this contact patch so when we shock the tires we take off we do a hard launch what happens when our bar looks like this is you're going to get this tire is actually going to push up okay into the fender well you're going to get like a compression all right your tire is going to move up your body is going to move down and what happens when you get a situation like that is it pulls the tire off the track okay so then you end up with a spin or you can't 60 foot or you get a bunch of tire hop like this long story short if the track is not super prepped this situation isn't going to work for you and this is currently how my situation is granted most of the times when we race we have a pretty good track and if i get a good burnout i can make it work now you can throw expensive shocks on the back end and stiffen them up and and try to take care of some of that when when you launch 
the tire wants to push up and you can try to stiffen them shocks up to where it, it tries to fight that and keep it down and, and that works to a certain point. Granted shocks are definitely a helpful thing to have and we are getting some double adjustable shocks but that's not the fix all right that's kind of a band-aid honestly the right way to fix this and honestly the only way to fix it one if the truck is super lowered okay you could raise the truck back up and what that would do is it's going to level this bar down a little bit straighter in theory you know a good starting point is to have your lower control arm as straight as possible and then work from there work from that point all right the straighter you can get this bar the better it's going to work but i don't want to lift my truck up all right i don't i don't want to do that if we have to lift it up a little bit we might but i want to leave it where it is the easiest way to fix that and resolve it in pretty much any four link situation or four link suspension would be getting this bar down okay so i found a guy that actually makes some brackets to mount on the rear location for the lower bar back at the rear of the axle right here so if you was a picture where this johnny joint would mount on the rear axle he makes some brackets that actually bolt in the factory location and then they have a hole say right here okay to allow you to move this bar down all right and help straighten this up now i'm actually having them try to make me some with an extra hole or two that way if i that way i can go down say a little bit more if i need to okay so that is my plan we have some brackets coming that is going to help us lower this rear bar down and that's going to help our situation a lot that will help plant the tire to the track and it should take away a lot of the squat situation and it should give us some anti-squat especially when we get some adjustable shocks in the rear end but dropping this bar down should give us some anti-squat and what anti-squat is is i'm going to draw another arrow here so if, i'm going to take this one away the old one that was bad that's when we had the tire and the and the actual body the truck going towards each other pulling the tire off the track what we want is what they call anti-squat all right you have this right here the tire is pushing into the track and the body is pushing up so you are separating the two you are forcing this tire into the track and you are lifting the actual vehicle the, you're lifting the body up and a lot of people may not understand that or get that it, it may not make sense to you but that is what you want that's what you see a lot of these race cars that is the way they leave that's the way they launch if you if you look at them there's not any squat all right these these guys at the track that are fast if you look at their truck or their car leave the line you're gonna see this fender gap all right here's a tire here's a fender you're gonna see this fender gap pretty much stay the same or the gap will get bigger because the tire is being driven into the track and the body's coming up so the suspension is actually working towards your favor because it's forcing that tire into the track which is going to give you a better ability to 60 foot and even down the track at the 330 or whatever you'll actually be able to stay out there and hopefully not spin or break loose on the other end but that is what we're looking for and that's the that's the quickest way to get there is we need to lower this bar down some and then the other thing you can do and i'm not sure if we're going to have to do it yet we'll see when i get there and we'll have you know this is going to take you know probably a half a dozen or more test hits at the track to figure out get these all adjusted right and see which way we got to go but <clears throat> the other thing you can do is this front pickup point right here where this bar mounts in the front all right now say this is our this string right here say this is our center of gravity okay now typically if this pickup point on your lower bar is below that center of gravity 
that will cause you to get a lot of squat and also will cause say a vehicle that makes a lot of power um, and does actually you know did hook up per se with a suspension not perfect being under that line would actually cause a car to wheelie um, and it, it would basically wheelie or lift the front of the suspension up a lot before it actually goes forward most of the time what you want is you want this pickup point on the front bar to be just above it or just on it you know every car is different just depends but let's say we're just over that pickup point of the center of gravity what you're going to have is you again you know you change this angle so you have this rear end is working better you're getting anti-squat you're getting more anti-squat so we're pushing the tire down in the track again we're lifting the body up so we're everything's working for us we're putting the tire where we want it we're not taking the tire away from where we want it and then now that we're on this side of the center of gravity line what's going to happen is you know this would this would make your car less likely to wheelie um, you're going to be pushing the tire in the track you're going to be pushing the car forward you're going to be pushing on the top of the car which would basically in theory you're going to keep the it's not going to want to lift the front end as much it's going to keep the car going straighter quicker and again that's kind of an easy way i'm just trying to sh explain this as easy as possible again i'm not a professional um, i do understand suspension a little bit and i'm trying to share some of that and just kind of give you a, a quick rundown of what you know what these bars actually can do for you or not do for you if they're not right but basically you know where we're getting is in a nutshell guys you don't want your truck to squat all right if, if you're on the track here and you launch and you get a whole bunch of this your your ass in or your bed drops down it sinks down and then and then you take off all right that's a lot of wasted time for your truck to do this and then go forward okay that takes time a lot of waste of time you want anti-squat when that tire and that suspension goes to work it's gonna push the tire down push the body up and it's gonna happen simultaneously and what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a, a, a 60 foot you're gonna get a better 60 foot instead of all this wasted energy of it squatting down before we start moving that suspension is gonna be quick and it's actually going to move the car forward pretty much instantly you're going to get a better 60 foot you're going to get better traction um you know a lot of people try to you know keep the front end from rising sometimes they'll put straps up front uh try to keep the shocks from you know if they're too soft or whatever they'll try to put strap straps on them to keep them from traveling too much uh you know all kinds of shit. but we're not going to get into all that crap Basically, I'm just trying to explain the rear end and what I plan on doing. Um, again, I think Frostbite's sitting somewhere around right here uh, from the factory. I got the factory bars on and my truck's lowered about five inches in the rear end with all factory suspension components still uh, besides the drop springs. And this is kind of what our bar looks like right now. I do get a lot of squat on my truck a lot of people has you know they've actually given me a lot of comments on youtube saying oh man your suspension works good you know that thing's squatting um that's that's far from the truth that's actually that's not what we want it looks cool but that's not what we want and that's not what makes you fast um so what we need to do uh we're to the power point now with this with this trans brake and the transmission um and the power level we're at we need to start concentrating on this you know 99 percent of the time if, if you can't 60 foot you need to be looking right here in this center right here in the rear end you don't need to be looking at the front end you don't need to be looking at anything else you don't need to even be looking at tires or any of that shit. right here these bars right here is what matters you need to figure this out this is where you will fix 99 percent of your 60 foot problems right here and we're going to start by lowering this bar down with some brackets 
all right like I said those brackets are going to mount in the factory location and then they're going to hang down and they're going to give us a couple holes to lower this bar down and we're going to try to get it looking something like this and that's going to give us a little bit of anti-squat that should push this tire into the track keep the body relatively where it is especially after we do a shock change and we should get some anti-squat all right again we don't want our tire to go this way when we launch and the ass end sinks down and squats and it looks cool and everything but it's not working in our favor we want to take this tire and we want to crush it into the track we want to smack the track when this thing launches and uh that's where we're at guys so again um I, I think most of you guys will probably understand what i'm trying to say or what i'm trying to get at with this uh little setup right here um when it's all said and done i i, I firmly believe this will work um, for what i'm trying to get or do out of frostbite and uh i know i mentioned you know i'm not gonna lie i thought about ripping the whole back of frostbite apart and i was gonna weld in my own four link suspension setup, coilovers and everything. But um, after kind of re-looking at the truck um, and these bars from Core 4x4, again, these are the aluminum ones, the lightweight ones, um, double adjustable. I believe lowering this bar down is, is gonna help us tremendously. And I, I feel like this will be the cheapest, um, easiest solution to get where I need to get, or to get where I need to go. Um, and, and I think, like I said, I think getting this bar down is gonna be a huge help. Um, outside of that, if this isn't quite enough to get it where we need to go to get us the anti-squat we're looking for, then we might have to start looking at relocating this pickup point. Um, I don't think it needs to be any lower, honestly than where it is factory. I, I think where the factory location is, I kind of feel like it's probably okay. Um, if anything, it, it might need to come up a couple inch or two, maybe an inch or two up. Um, that's kind of kind of how I'm feeling about it. How we're gonna do that if we have to do it, I don't know. Um, again, I'm not scared to cut shit off and weld stuff. So I'll figure out how I'm gonna do it, but um, we're gonna start here. On the easy side, we're gonna, again, we're gonna take our bar that looks like this because my truck's lowered. We're gonna drop it down and we're gonna get our bar straight. That way we can uh, 60 foot better and we can quit squatting so much and, and pulling this tire into the fender. We, we don't want that crap. Um, you know, it, it looks cool when it hooks up and it actually goes, but it, it's, it's slowing us down and uh, that's not what we want. So we're gonna try to fix that and I have some time finally to try to get to that point and that's what we're gonna work on guys. So, so that is it guys. That's uh, like I said, that's my plan. Um, when I get this on and I get it figured out and I get everything working as good as I'm planning for this to work out for me. Um, if not, we'll go back to the drawing board. We'll figure something out. But I think this is gonna work. I think this will get us in uh, a better situation and we'll be able to grow a little bit more um, by doing this and getting the truck to like this you know as power goes up um, you'll have to constantly keep changing things that's part of racing and, and part of a race car um, every, anytime you start making more power or you're trying to put more power down uh, you'll have to start changing things that's just how it is it's just it's, <laughs> that's how it rolls um, but so again guys uh, if I get this working and I get these brackets on and, and they work and everything I will get you guys in contact with the guy that makes these brackets um, they look pretty jam up. So there you go, that's it. Um, other thing I'm gonna finish out real quick with, again, these are the four by, the, again, these are the core four by four bars. And these bars, as you can see, are no joke guys. Double adjustable, greasable Johnny joints on both ends. Aluminum, lightweight, very, very strong, lifetime warranty, if they break, you'll get a new one. Great company. Um, and again, a lot of people uh, follow Joey, 
hot damn racing team, uh, Custom Black Motorsports. He's got a badass lifted Dodge Ram that he races. Um, that he, you know, was running nitrous on. Uh, then he built them, uh, built them a DIY turbo uh, remote turbo kit that is absolutely badass. He runs these bars. Um, he's had these bars on his truck, a Jeep, and uh, these bars are great. He's got tons of videos of them as well. And also, if you want to save some money, if you go straight to Core 4x4 and type in promo code HOT DAMN, that is Joey's promo code off of his YouTube channel to get you 5% get you off. Um, doesn't sound like much, but it adds up and every dollar counts, guys. So again, if you want some of these bars, promo code HOT DAMN, Joey will get you hooked up. And that's going to do it for the video today, guys. Um, so that's part two. Part three, obviously, will be getting these things installed. Um, so when we get them installed, there'll be another video on them and how everything lays out and works, hopefully, uh, when I get these brackets put on. And uh, obviously that video, I'll show my rear end. Before I take them off, I'm going to show you what it looks like, you know, the bars, the rear bars, how my angle is on them. Again, you know, right now they're, they're you know, they're kind of sloping up because my truck's lowered. And we want to bring that lower bar down where it's a little more straight or if anything we want it a little lower than you know the front the front area of the bar there so those brackets are going to help us out tremendously so stay tuned for part three and as always guys stay safe out there don't forget hit that subscribe button we'll see you on the next one